So uh, yeah, we're uh, back here at DCA and we're just about to go have some uh, brunch at Lamplight. So uh, come on and uh, come on inside and join us. ordering brunch from Lamplight so let's take a look at what we ordered you know because it's five o'clock somewhere we ordered um, I ordered the spring canister which is Bacardi Reserva Ocho Rum cream of coconut and pineapple and orange juices with a mist of Angostura bitters and then um, John ordered the sunrise spectacular Makers, okay, Makers Mark Bourbon, Tropical Juices, Agave Nectar, and a dash of Angostura um, bitters. And then to eat, because we've got to have food, of course. So can you guess what we ordered from this menu? We ordered the Lamplight Chilaquiles, <laughs> house-made tortilla chips tossed in a three chili red sauce, ch cheddar jack, two eggs up, queso fresco, red onions, cilantro serrano, sour cream, and sliced avocado topped with pepitas. Mm. Now we did yeah. opt it and we told them no red onions, um, so it's a little modified. Yeah. And then, of course, because we got to try those French toast, but we don't want to get too full, so we ordered the children's, um, the budding artist indulgent French toast cinnamon brown sugar, shala bread, whipped cream, and syrup. And our two selections for that, of course, bacon and potatoes. Here, guys, is the uh, lamplight chilaquiles and the um, what is that again? Oh, the indulgent French, indulgent French, French toast. toast. We give it a little whirl and we give it. Ooh, ooh look at that! Ooh. That looks good. Cut the egg. Get a little piece of this avocado. Put it on top. Oh, that's a hefty bite right there. Oh boy. That's gonna be a censored bite, guys. Here. So just so you know, okay. censored. Oh, yeah, let's see how that my avocado is <laughs> going. <laughs> All right, guys, here's my taste. Hopefully, excuse the mess if it looks I don't know what it's gonna look like, but here we go. Okay. Really good. Like really good. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? How does that fare to the chili quiles we've had from the various restaurants and mom and pop? What I like about this one is um, the tortillas are are crispy. Oh. Where the place that we get our chilaquiles from, normally like for our regular breakfast, they're more soggy. Uh, okay. These have a little crisp to them. That's what makes it different. And the sauce is tasty, very tasty. It has a little bit of a spice, but not too bad. Um, I'm not a, you know, a sp spicy chili type of person, but this has a just enough little kick, but not not too bad at all. It's good, very mild. I recommend it. Taking a sip first. <laughs> Got a fresh, refresh the palate. Yes. 
All right, guys, so here it is. I'm gonna give it a whirl now. Over easy egg, it's done pretty nicely. Scoot over, that's good. We opted for um, easy over Yeah, we eggs, like easy over eggs. But they asked how you want your eggs cooked. You give me a little avocado, a little tortilla. A little tortilla. Oh, you're right, it is, it's crispy. Oh boy, I'm having <laughs> trouble here. All right, here we go, guys. Okay, here we go. That's your shot. Really good. I do like the, the fact that the potatoes are crispy. Mm -hmm. The sauce is real tomato-y. Um, it's really good. It's um, uh, it's not a mole sauce. It's more like a red uh, chile enchilada sauce. Um, not really like that dark mole, but I like it. It's really good. Uh, definitely, I can see why it's um, it's a pretty big hit. All the rage. So. Yes. On to the next. On to the next. Now this French toast. Want to give it a whirl? Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm going to try the indulgent French toast. I'm going to do it uh, finger food style. I'm going to give myself a little dip here. And the syrup. Add a little. Oh, yeah. Buttercream there. And go for the bite. Here we go. It's going to be messy. Mmm. It's a Mr. Murrow moment. It's good. Mm. <laughs> it's good. Let me try the potatoes now. Oh yeah, try the potatoes. Potatoes are good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Seasoned really well. Mm-hmm. Peppery season. Maybe I think there's some rosemary in there also. Ooh. It's very good. Definitely recommend this also. Definitely. Now I'm gonna give it a little little try here. I'm gonna finger food it. So I'm gonna dip it, dip it. Oh. And I'm gonna add some. Oh, it's not as like crispy. This one's no, it's it's okay, it's here like we go. Fun. Good, huh? Mm -hmm. I think the kids will love it. Oh my god, so delicious. Okay, let me try these potatoes. It's got a little nice little season. Mmm. Very good. Get yourself some of this. Bigger plate. <laughs> what you thinking about there? Oh, I was thinking about my drink, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I got the uh, Sunrise Spectacular. Uh, this has Maker's Mark bourbon. Oh, it's some tropical juices, agave nectar, and a dash of bitters. However, our server, Alex, essentially said, try it with mezcal tequila. It gives it more of a smoky flavor. I've never tried that before, so I'm about to get a try right now, see what it's all about. Got to stir it up. Stir it up. Ooh. Damn! Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like it? <laughs> I think I found a new favorite. Ooh. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex from Placencia. <laughs> we told him, all right, Alex from Placencia, we're going to trust your your suggestion here. Did <laughs> right. a little whirl. Now, I'm going to try this um, screen. Uh, what, is, what is this one? Oh, um, sorry. Sunrise Spectacular. Sunrise Spectacular. Honest, guys, we've only had one sip. We're not there yet. Not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to give it a little try. Ooh, smoky. It's good. Would you it's order good. that one? I think so. Yeah. I would order this one. I'm more of a sweet coconut 
but this is uh, good though. Tropical. That's kind of tropical even it's with tropical. the tequila. With the like a it. smoky, it has like a smoky um, taste to it. Yeah. It's really good. All right, guys. So this is the screen canister. It's uh, again Bacardi Reserva Ultra Rum, cream of coconut and pineapple, and orange juices with a mist of Angostura um, bitters. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna give it a little twirl. Ooh, so pretty. So pretty. And I can hear it screaming. So I'm gonna take a. Screaming your name to drink screaming it. my name to drink it. So let's give it a a little you gotta, yeah, you gotta mix that up a little bit. Twirl, a little twirl, a little whirl. Now let's give it a drink. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah. Really good. I like coconutty pineapple kind of drinks, so this Pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Now John's gonna give it a try. The of uh, the screen canister. Screen canister. Got too much fruit in my way. I know. It's you gonna use? hit your nose. Definitely recommend sharing. Sharing it. <laughs> Share wow, it. it's a lot of food. And then we got the kids, um, the kids size well, the budding artist um, French toast was just enough. Mm -hmm. I think just enough so that we can have our our sweet and then we can have our savory yeah. dish. Um, but it was delicious, hands down. It was delicious. The yeah. hype on the Lamp like chilaquiles is real. It is real. French toast too yeah. should be a hype because those are. Yeah, so next time you guys see the uh, an opportunity to have um, brunch at Lamp Light, and you're here, just do it. It's worth it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> next to the Mickey Waffles, um, French toast. Yeah. Oh gosh, those are so delicious. <laughs> those. Can you get those uh, in DCA, Mickey Waffles? I don't, I don't think so. You can get them at the Storybook oh, Cafe. No. Yeah. But they need to offer them here. They sure do. At least in Carson. Or here at Namplight and do a spin-off on it. Like maybe offer something, maybe Mickey Waffles and chicken or something like that. Yeah, that would be pretty good. That would be good. Anyways guys, thanks for joining us at uh, brunch today uh, here at Namplight. We're off on to our next adventure. Come join us. Go with me, baby. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll sit on the end. Thank you. So good.